are the holiday feeling that starts in the air. Then you emerge from the clouds to a place where your time is your own, where you have the freedom to be happy-go-lucky or pamper yourself in the lap of luxury, where you can dive into adventure, nourish your body and feed your soul. A place where you can plan every step or take it as it comes. This is your Samoan holiday and it's always gonna be beautiful. Beautiful Samoa. Lover, welcome back to the Samoa Aquatic Center. It's finals time once again with medals to be decided in seven more events. And we're expecting another action-packed finals. I'm Asanaka Waningolo and of course joining me tonight is the legend himself, uh, Brian Pini. Of course, an action-packed lineup that we have tonight, Brian. Yes, looking forward to it. I can already see uh, the 50 backstroke and 100 butterfly, two favorite events of mine. Uh, so I'll be looking closely at those, but the 400 IM should be a great race. Uh, really challenges the swimmers in all the four events. And then uh, following up lastly with the uh, 4 by 200 relay. So uh, looking forward to this action pack night. So this is the first final for tonight, the women's 50 meters backstroke. Start from the swimmers, they're all still underneath the water, and Lushville comes out first for Samoa in the middle lane, in lane number four. The challenge is there as well from Cheyenne Rover, but look out in uh, Yelani Wetzel also from Samoa, really challenging for the pa pa place here. And looking good on the inside is Lushville Stickland. She had the fastest time coming into this race. The 30-04 Lushville, the crowd here are getting behind her, and Lushville will get another gold here for Samoa. A third after the two medals won last night from Brendan Schuster and Lauren Salin. What a way to start the night for the host nation, Ryan. Excellent start for tonight. The crowd were really well behind uh, Samoa there, so um, great results. Well, she had the fastest time coming into this race, a 30-0-4, and she's done a 29-9-6 to win a third medal here for Samoa in the pool. And what a great campaign it has been for the host nation in 2019. They start off the night with another gold medal. So we move on to the 50 meters men's backstroke. The fastest time with um, Goyech in lane four, a 27.36 coming into this race. Teki Dupont from Tahiti also there with a 27.68. And Tani Ross from Fiji doing a 27.44. And off they go. This is the 15 meters backstroke final. And coming off the water, looking really good, was Kokoro uh, Frost of Samoa. But on the inside here, you can just see Natani Ross, also um, Goyech and Dupont. It's pretty close between the New Caledonian. Teki Dupont really just asserting himself here in uh, lane four. That's Goyech. Goyech it is for New Caledonia. He'll touch in first. Fantastic. It was really close at that stage. You could just see Teki Dupont on his inside and Natani Ross on the outside lane, but there, just the last surge at the end there from Goyech. That finish is, uh, is very important. As you can see in a race like that where there's not much between it, to get that touch to the wall.
This is the women's 400 individual medley finals. And Angeline Tregoat has just surged ahead of everyone else. Already two medals at this Games. A bronze in the uh, relay last night, and also silver in the 200 backstroke. So this being the uh, the 400 IM is uh, 100 meters of each of the disciplines. So 100 butterfly, backstroke, breaststroke, and freestyle. Uh, arguably one of the toughest of the uh, the swimming events, and um, that's why you see there's there's not that many that that are willing to swim it. Uh, but here we have four swimmers, so we do have uh, medal contention for the top three. Tregoat in the lead at the moment. Mayana Flamont of New Caledonia starting to make her move in the outside lane. You can also see Marion Kotambalavu of Fiji right to the top of your screen. And of course trailing them is uh, Rosemary Rova uh, in lane number six. What's interesting about these events uh, and what I find quite fascinating is each swimmer has their different uh, strengths and, and weaknesses. So uh, you will see a, a few changes uh, over the event over the uh, next 100, 200, 300 meters. Uh, probably, especially around the breaststroke events, you start to see uh, a, a few changes. So um, let's keep watching. Trigawad is just 17 years old. And Team Tahiti. She maintains her lead, just trying to pick up the pace a wee bit, as well as Mayana Flamont. Trying just to stay in touch with um, our leader, Trekawat from Tahiti. We also have uh, Miriam Kotombalavu there with them from Fiji, just below them. Trekawat did a 5, 15, 6, 8. Coming into this race, the fastest time as well. And she's um, certainly living up to her reputation. Lamont starting to pick up the pace here. She won gold in the 800 meters freestyle last night for uh, New Caledonia. And also a silver medal in the five kilometer open water race. Impressive work here from the Tahitian Tregowat maintaining the lead. Lamont just trying to pick up the pace of a bit here for New Caledonia. Rigawad is about uh, two, about a body length and a half lead here for Tregawat. The supporters are just um, cheering her on up here in the stands. Lamont just behind her in the picture there from uh, New Caledonia. The two 17 year olds really giving it all they have. You just see that Flamont of New Caledonia has just sort of picked up the pace. Hanging on to the lead is Tregowat. And below them, you can just see Marion Kotombalavo of Fiji, the 15 year old. Tregowat, she's um, maintained her lead all throughout. Here she comes, looking very strong. Here comes Flamont from New Caledonia. The challenge is on. She's racing down that pool. Flamont trying to just um, hang on. Tregowat is in the lead. Flamont has caught up significantly. Here comes the challenge from Flamont. She won the 800 meters goal last night. Here comes Flamont. Just fading away is Tregowat. Flamont has taken the lead. Flamont from New Caledonia. What a swim from this young lady. Two medals already at this game, and she adds a third. 
Great swim from Flamont. She left it right down to the last 50 to make her move, but that was great to see, Ryan. <laughs> what a swim from this young lady. Waves to the crowd, just 17. Well, we move on to the men's 400 meters uh, individual medley finals. Uh, interesting tussle here once again. You have um, Brendan Schuster, Samoa got the gold medal in the 200 meters backstroke. And of course, Taichi Wakasama from Fiji got the gold medal in the 200 meters breaststroke. Limoza of New Caledonia, also a very fast swimmer from New Caledonia. Brendan Schuster's out of the water fast for Samoa. And what a swim it was for him last night when he won that gold medal for the host nation. And he also mentioned that the, the local crowd here really lifted him uh, to that win, uh, Ryan. That's right. Last night was uh, incredible scenes. I think everyone was on the, uh, on the edge of their seats. So um, we'll watch closely here, as uh, like I mentioned in the, the women's 400 IM is that there are different strengths and weaknesses with the, each of the swimmers, so we'll see a bit of a tussle here and there leading over the next couple hundred meters. Schuster staying in the lead at the moment, and outside of him, you can see Savignuk of uh, New Caledonia. Also, Limoza is there. Taichi Wakasama is right on the edge in lane number two for Fiji. But Brendan Schuster in the lead at the moment just asserting himself early in this men's 400 individual medley final this is his preferred stroke the backstroke brendan schuster he's opened up a good lead here seven york also limaza right there and on the outside you can just see taichi wakasama for fiji Brendan Schuster, the crowd are just cheering him on here at the Samoa Aquatic Center in Faleata. Here he comes. Brendan Schuster looking really good in this race. Just asserting himself early. We saw him do that as well last night when he won the 200 meters backstroke. Just got off to an early start and always um, a good strategy to start with as well, Ryan. Yeah, that's right. Uh, depending on your strengths here, you, you might have to uh, go out hard. The breaststroke is uh, is a, such an important leg. So uh, we'll see what happens here as we lead into the uh, halfway mark and the 100 meters breaststroke. Brendan Schuster, he's looking good. He's, he heads towards the wall. The crowd here anticipating another medal for Samoa tonight. Brendan Schuster bringing it home here for Samoa. He's piling on the pressure. Brendan Schuster maintains his lead. And he's flying down this pool. He can see a gold medal in sight for him. Brendan Schuster bringing it home. Limaza trying his best, but it's just starting to fade away. Here comes Brendan Schuster. This will be another famous victory for Samoa. The crowd are cheering him on here. And Brendan Schuster does it again. A second gold medal for him at this Games, and what a swim from this young man, Ryan. Absolutely incredible. He had the lead the whole way. Brendan Schuster, just the picture of determination, this young man led right from the start to finish. And well, that's Damien Kitione just coming in to finish this race, but um, another great win for this young man, Brendan Schuster, a second gold medal for him at this Games. Picked up his first one last night in the 200 meters backstroke. And Samora on fire here at um, Valiata, Ryan. So we move on to the Women the Butterfly Finals. Oh, 
And off they go. And this uh, sprint event. See, yep, Lawrence Sale there. Off to a good start here for Team Samoa. Just 19 years old, this young lady. And alongside her, of course, is May Tovan with the fastest time coming into this race. A 1-0-4-5-2. Sale just staying alongside her at the moment. Tovan touches the wall first. They turn around. Here comes the challenge from Sale. Tovan trying to hang on to the lead. Here comes Sale just starting to lift, giving it all she Tovan's in the lead at the moment for New Caledonia. Sale trying to come back at her. Tovan just hanging on it stroke for stroke at the moment as they're heading towards the finish line. It's a Tovan that's just in the lead. Sale is doing all she can, just trying to lift here. Tovan hanging on to the lead for New Caledonia. Tovan just a few meters to go. She will take it. Sale, of course, with the silver. And the New Caledonia with the bronze for Julie Decay. But May Tovan, a third gold medal for her at this game. It's a fantastic, incredible performance from her. She got a gold in the 50 meters fly last night, as well as the 4x100 relay, a third medal here for May Tovan uh, Ryan. So this is the last uh, individual uh, final for tonight. It's the men's 100 meters. Coming off the water, looking really good is Nicholas Van Morel. Got the gold in the uh, 50 meters butterfly last night. He's traveling pretty well. Alongside him, of course, Thibaut Mer of uh, New Caledonia. It's a real tussle between them. You can also see Thomas Oswald of uh, New Caledonia as they turn around that wall. And coming off the water, you can just see Nicholas Vemorel. He's just picking up the pace here for Team Tahiti. Got the gold in the 50 meters butterfly the other night. On his outside, you can see Thibaut Murray as well, trying to lift the pace here. Looking good as Vemorel from Tahiti looks to the side to see where the uh, challenge is at. It's pretty close at the moment. It looks like Thibaut Murray will just get in. Yes, he does. Thibaut Murray. He's just got in the nick of time. And just edged Nicholas Vemorel. That was a fantastic finish there. He um, really pushed himself right towards the end to chase down. I, can, I, I know as a swimmer, when you're swimming the butterfly events, you can't really see out either side of you. So you're focusing on, uh, on straight ahead. But uh, every now and then you can feel a little bit of pressure coming from the side. And I think that's what happened. second last of final of the night it's the 800 meters freestyle relay there's that uh, Yelani Wetzel right on the outside there for Samoa and May Tovan for New Caledonia Yelani Blake making a good start here for Team Fiji and uh, Georgia Levele of PNG Yelani Blake leads them to the wall turns around first here comes the challenge from Flamand. Kaya Brown hanging on to the lead for Team Samoa. But starting to lift on the outside lane is Flamand from New Caledonia. Starting to fade away is Kaya Brown as Flamand takes the lead for New Caledonia. New Caledonia working really hard. Flamand it is. Has already picked up a couple of medals at this games. Lamont, what an incredible swim from this young lady to take the lead for New Caledonia. And in they go first. Emma Terrible it is. Well, it was a great work from uh, Mayana Lamont that really gave them the lead. Um, team New Caledonia and Emma Terrible doing excellent at the moment to maintain that lead from New Caledonia. But Samoa, Lauren Saleh, she's trailing. 
Just the 30 to go. Here comes the challenge from uh, Lauren Solid, trying to pick up the pace. Emma Terrible, you can just see the splash in the water. She's going fast down that pool. Emma Terrible giving all she's got. Emma Terrible from New Caledonia. Lauren Sala is trying to pick up the pace, just fading a wee bit, but um, Emma Terrible, she will get the job done for New Caledonia here. Another goal for them. Well done to Lauren Sale. A second silver for her tonight. And Team Samoa. And what a great contest between the two nations, of course, New Caledonia and Samoa. This is Touches in Brittany Murray for PNG. And one more to go. This is the men's 800 meters freestyle relay. So this is the last, the final of the night, the men's 800 meters of freestyle relay. Limoza, great start there for New Caledonia. Alongside him, of course, is Taichi Wakasama, got that gold medal in the 200 meters uh, breaststroke last night. Limoza. Righty, Devo. Also looking good right on this outside. But Thibaut Mary already three gold medals at this games, looking for another. This is impressive work from Team New Caledonia. About 30 to go, and he brings it home for them. Thibaut Mary, just 20 years old from New Caledonia. An impressive swim from this young man. He's motored down the pool and just increase the lead here, Thibaut Mary. And Team Nick Caledonia make a statement here in the relays, absolutely dominating them. A great swim from the New Caledonian the quartet to win the gold medal in this final race for tonight. The battle for second and third. Tahiti comes through with the silver medal, Nicholas Vermorel. And here's um, Fiji's Temafa Yalimaiwai and Leonard Kalate of PNG. Temafa Yalimaiwai will bring it home for Fiji with the bronze medal. Kalate Leonard there in fourth place for PNG. And then uh, Sitivi of uh, Samoa just comes in to finish this race. But what a statement from this new Caledonian quartet. Absolutely dominated the um, relay events. He brought it home for them. And a fourth medal for him at this game. He's already got three in the bag, Thibaut Mary. Back in 2015, it was New Caledonia that won a, a total of 44 medals. And 21 of them were gold medals. Samurai. Enthusiastic supporters gathered at the Harbour Centre just a few short kilometres from the Games Complex to see all the table tennis action. The tournament runs across six days in men's and women's and includes singles, doubles and teams as well as the tightly contested mixed doubles. The inclusive Pacific Games competition here in Arpia includes Paralympic table tennis. It, it's very hard to place a monetary value uh, in terms of what we have contributed. We have, over the past 18 months, invested 
29 million tala, uh, 14 million in the last financial year, and this financial year we again invested 15 million tala. But that's just uh, money that went into uh, organizing the event, upgrading the facilities. But beyond that, we cannot uh, put a value in terms of the effort that has gone into this, uh, you know, the hosting of the event. Over 3,000 children took part in the opening ceremony, teachers, uh, security personnel, and uh, volunteers. You can't put a value on that. The 20 year plan, it's called Samoa 2040. There are seven thematic areas uh, that we are focusing on. Uh, agriculture, ICT, tourism. Tourism is, is one of the main uh, areas uh, of focus of that, that uh, strategic vision and this week hosting the game I think takes tourism to another level so instead of waiting uh, for Samoa to improve on uh, tourism infrastructure we are starting now with the Pacific Games uh, getting uh, you know that much needed exposure through uh, television uh, coverage over the next few days um, I think in social media, on the news, international news, you will see some more feature in the headlines. We return now to the beautiful Sheraton Beach Resort Mulifanua for the most emblematic of Pacific sports, Ba. Today is the first day of competition in a tournament that has both men's and women's categories. Boats are single-person craft up to the V12. These proud descendants of the world's greatest navigators compete on courses that vary from a few hundred meters to ocean marathons of 24 kilometers. One nation stands above the others in Va'a, Tahiti. Will that still be the case after the tough four days of the competition at these 16th Pacific Games in beautiful Samoa? Solid start by Kalma. 65 as well, so it's going to be an interesting battle here. Kalma back out. Straight, straight, straight. Hold it! Steady, steady, steady. Good fighting left. Kitchen. <laughs> looking strong, that's 
78. So for the moment, she leads for Oceania and Pacific Games lifters. There are medals not only at the snatch clean and jerk in total, but there are medals across Pacific and Oceania as well for them. Hold it. In at 80. Look at this. This is an important lift in the context of this competition. Third attempt, 83. Hold it. Got it this Good. time. And you can see the smiles. 85. Tight, tight, tight. All right, big push, straight up uh, on the shoulders. Push, push, push. Hold it. Hold it. Big push in. Nicely under the bar, young yeah. Samoan, debuting oh, internationally. Oh, Did ready. well with three clean lifts in the snatch. Let's see how she goes here on the clean and jerk. Well, powerful overhead. Hold, 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 hold. This one. Straight up, Lara, straight up. Big push from the shoulders. Push, push, push. Alfie. Very powerful. Very powerful there. Tight, tight. Let's go. All right, straight up, Dara. Use those legs. Big push. Let's go. Use those legs. Punch. Push, push, push. Oh. 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 Come on. Doesn't see the overhead, and I tell you what, the crowd here love it as well. Sit. You can tell, tell them the smile. Gotta get under it yeah. and smartly. Hold it! Oh yes! Oh she's a fighter. <laughs> For the lead at 104 in the okay, Commonwealth Games. Okay. Uh, Who does it? She's got the lead now. That's That's a nice opener for him. Pretty 
He's looking pretty comfortable, isn't he? Yeah. Gets it under control eventually. But uh, before we see those boys get back out on the platform, we welcome again some of the junior lifters who are debuting their international careers. Here's one of them, Chris Maguria from Nauru. Good technique. He's going to get that one on. Very explosive. Watch this guy. Yeah. Really muscled it. This one. Just a little bit more deliberate. Good overhead. That's the third attack. Big 
strategy. He doesn't like knocking around, does he? That is prodigious. There might not have been a bit of a press out there. John Tucker then is 210 total. Could have been more as well. Remember, he struggled with that clean and jerk. Got the 115 with his very last lift. Likewise, this guy in the silver medal position, Sester Brown uh, Ramahaka out of uh, Solomon's, he too struggled with his uh, clean and jerk. You remember that? Had uh, three bites of 127 before he nailed that. Got him back into the competition and got him this total of 226 for his uh, silver medal. And the gold medal with a massive 284 total and the 2019 Pacific Games champion from Papua New Guinea is Moria Baru.
this amazing Commonwealth uh, Oceania record of 284 after that big clean and jerk of 127 record as well. A sensational performance by this man. Club. Very similar pattern. We're seeing moves like this over and over. And this time, they found a way. There's a familiar picture. Salapo hands on knees. And some more on defense. Just caved slightly there. They had a couple of opportunities to uh, get the ball away. So it failed to do so. And uh, Bodo Wong added to his tally. By number 11, Tito Bodo Wonga. One block. Not that one. Goes high and effective. Bodo Wonga has four goals. So, uh, good day out for him. Samurai. Some second half highlights here. Sele with a long drive from a free kick, which uh, had Mango thinking a bit, but uh, in the end was well wide. That was a shot from Psycho and had half the crowd thinking he'd scored, but it hit the side netting. Bertrand Kai involved in this. Best moment for him in what was a quiet game by his own high standards. And time here was running out rapidly for Solomon Islands to try and get back on level terms. Tatori weaving his way through. Eventually, the shot coming in from uh, Nawal, but uh, Nikeni and his defenders managed to do enough to keep the ball out of the net. And then a bit of a scramble. Involving the substitute, Nimon. And eventually, the half clearance falls at the feet of Psycho. Goes through a crowd of players and into the net. Uh, Mango possibly unsighted. And that was that for uh, New Caledonia. We take a valuable win in this uh, full round match. It's Group B at the uh, Pacific Games here in Apia. A handful of goals for uh, Rogerson, who was uh, very impressive, both in terms of what he did individually and the way he led the team. Rogerson, there he is. Looking to gain control here. And he's uh, doing very well, working a bit of space for himself and finishing with great style. He's a very talented young man, Logan Rogerson. And I'm sure that those involved with uh, New Zealand football must have uh, high hopes as to what he can achieve. That's his sixth goal of the tournament and New Zealand's first goal of the afternoon. Someone not exactly racing forward in numbers for this free kick. Taken by their captain, Andrew Setofano. Launches it long. Heads go up. Three people fall over. And the end result. Not as positive as Samoa would have hoped. Possibilities here may be. Laloato on the ball and now on the ground. New Zealand go for the long ball. And that's fallen fortuitously for them. And guess who, Rogerson? And Rogerson did everything right. Great speed, great initiative by young Rogerson, the captain. Just poked the ball wide of the upright. Otherwise, that would have been 2 0 and 2 for him. But another warning to Samoa that they really need to tighten up and just think and act a little bit more quickly than they are at the moment. We we're 10 minutes from uh, half time here at uh, the JS Bladder Football Complex in Apia and the host nation Samoa trailing by a goal to nil. And what is the second match for both these sides in the uh, football tournament at the Pacific Games 2019? Just a reminder in the men's competition and indeed the women's competition, uh, two pools and the teams that finish top of each will 
playoff for the gold medal. Weekend after next. Almost an opportunity there for Samoa. And the runners up in each pool, they'll compete for the bronze medals. No semi finals in this particular tournament as New Zealand broke away and they have a second goal. It had to be really, didn't it? Logan Rogerson doubles his numbers. Samoa again looking to find a way through this uh, almost watertight New Zealand defence. Almost completed a game and a half and they're yet to concede. And there is a very nice finish. And New Zealand make it 3 0. Technical team. Rained on that the first day. Today they've had the sunshine. Slightly more favourable conditions, but still a hard day at the office with four matches to cover. This is the third of the four that we're bringing you. Vincent Fury, opportunity here for Samoa, and they scored. Congratulations, Samoa have their first goal, and you can hear the reaction. The crowd love that. Fantastic effort by Samoa. Beautiful ball from Andrew Mobley. Certainly knows how to put a pass through, and uh, there's the man. Trying to find the end, and he's finally succeeded. And then the moment the Samoan fans have been waiting for, Mobley, the creator, a little bit ponderous in defence there, Billy Jones. And Vito Laloata finds the net. And uh, how pleased were they? As the referee brings proceedings to a halt. And the game finishes New Zealand 5, uh, Samoa 1. And there's the hero for Samoa, number 11, Vito Laloata. So congratulations, Samoa. You've uh, got yourselves on the score sheet, so something to celebrate. But uh, as far as the result is concerned, it's a uh, job done and an efficient night's work for the young New Zealand team. Samoa. Lawn bowls is one of the most popular sports in the Commonwealth and a major event here at the 16th Pacific Games at Samoa. The competition is taking place at the world-class Faleata Lawn Bowls Greens, part of the game's sporting complex here in Apia. Eight medals will be awarded in men's and women's fours, triples, pairs and singles. The eight nations competing include the hosts, Samoa, as well as Tokelau, Niue, Papua New Guinea, Norfolk Island, Tonga, Fiji and the Cook Islands. the holiday feeling that starts in the air. Then you emerge from the clouds to a place where your time is your own, where you have the freedom to be happy-go-lucky or pamper yourself in the lap of luxury, where you can dive into adventure, nourish your body and feed your soul. A place where you can plan every step or take it as it comes. This is your Samoan holiday and it's always gonna be beautiful. Beautiful Samoa.